Welcome to eSERS tutorial on member enrollment. As an employer, it is your responsibility to enroll new employees. The individual's account with SERS is established once you have successfully submitted the accurate enrollment information through eSERS. You will not be able to enter a contribution report for a new employee until the enrollment is complete. There are two ways to enroll your new employee. One is a manual enrollment, which is ideal for one or two enrollments. Or you can use upload enrollment file application to upload multiple enrollments with one file. Let's discuss manual enrollment entry. You can manually enroll a new employee or re-employed retiree into ESERS if you do not wish to upload a file. This process is useful when you have a low number of new employees to enroll in ESERS. Manual enrollment is helpful if you received an enrollment is required for the member error after you've uploaded or entered your contribution report. To enter a manual enrollment, Go to the Manual Enrollment Entry application. Click the New button located under New Manual Enrollment. Once you are under Employer Reporting Header Information for Enrollment Maintenance, click into the SSN box and enter your member's Social Security number. Next. Enter their birth date. Now enter the gender for your member. Enter their first name. Now enter the last name. Enter their address information. Now when you get down to the city, state, and zip code, if you enter the zip code first, eSERS will pre-populate your city and state. Now enter the member's cell phone number if you have it. If not, you will have to suppress the suppress warning box because this will become a warning if you do not provide a phone number. Now enter the member's personal email address. Now let's enter the first day of service. If you are entering a re-employed retiree first date of service, you will need to enter in the first date of service not the original first date of service from 15 to 30 years ago. So in this case, my member started work on 05-30-2024. Now select the job classification. If you are a college or university, you will check mark the ARP eligible box if the member is ARP eligible. In this case, this member is not ARP eligible, so I will leave it blank. If you are a contractor, you will enter the contractor ID in this box. If you do not know your contractor ID, you can click on the magnifying glass icon to search for the contractor. This will only work if you have already entered in the contractor company. For more information on contractor maintenance, please watch the eSERS tutorial on contractor maintenance. After you have entered the required information, hit save. Once you save the enrollment, it runs through the same validation process as your contribution records. 
If there are any errors or warnings, your enrollment will be moved in the review status. You will either have to correct the errors, address the warnings, or check the suppress warning box in the upper right hand corner. In this case, I do not have any records to display for warnings or errors. In the middle of the top of the page for record status, it is valid. So I now have the submit for posting button. If all the information is correct, go ahead and hit submit for posting. Here are a few items to keep in mind. If you leave the screen after clicking save and did not hit the submit for posting button, your enrollment will not post. It will remain valid status. Once you click submit for posting, your enrollment screen will become read only and the status will change to post and in progress. To ensure that your enrollment has posted, click the refresh button. Once the enrollment has posted, the status will change to posted. To manually enroll the next employee, you will click on the manual enrollment entry application to the left. Now let's discuss uploading an enrollment file. You can use this application to upload multiple enrollments at the same time with an enrollment file. You can also view and track files as status updates during this posting progress. To upload enrollment file, complete these steps. Click Upload Enrollment Files. On the Upload File page, click Choose File Type. It should already be preloaded as enrollment file. Next, click choose file. An extra window will pop up for Window Explorer. Here, select your enrollment file, click open, and then click upload file. Please note, you will receive a message in the message board, either confirming the successful upload and posting of the file, or there are errors within the file. Once you have completed uploading or manually entering the enrollments, there is one last step with sending the SSA 1945 form to SERS. The SSA 1945 form can be uploaded through eSERS as a PDF. To upload your SSA 1945 forms, complete the following steps. Under Organizational Information, click the SSA 1945 Upload. Click Choose File. This will open a File Explorer window for your computer. Attach the required PDF file to the record. At the top of the screen, click Upload and Submit. If you have additional questions, please contact Employer Services. This concludes our member enrollment tutorial. Thank you for watching.